Welcome to the ASMR Salon and Spa. This is Karina, and today I want to show you my nighttime makeup look. So a little bit more accentuated, a little bit more shadow. So I'm going to begin with my Botanical Sea Serum. I've showed this in a couple of videos, but I really, really like this little product. And it's mainly just vitamin E and then liquid vitamin C. And I just like to take a little bit of this and I'm actually going to use my hand to apply it. So I'm going to apply a little bit here on my hand. I'm just using my fingers to gently apply to my skin. It's always nice to use upward strokes when we're touching our face. I'm just going to pull back these little pink pieces of my hair that have already gotten in the way of falling in my face. Oopsies. Oh well. Whoops. Spilling some of my vitamin E oil, that's so sad. Luckily, I love this stuff and I don't mind putting it all over me. This stuff is um, pretty much my go-to product after I'm in the sun um, or just straight up vitamin E by itself. There's a lot of different skin products out there that have a bunch of crazy chemicals in them and I always think it's a lot nicer to just go with something super basic like vitamin E. Okie dokie. So I'm going to rearrange just a little bit and pull out my other thing, my brushes here. Okay, so I fold my hair back. I've applied just a little bit of vitamin E oil to my face. Now I want to work on my eyes. So I'm going to start with my eye liner. This is by Mineral Fusion. And I think it's always a good idea to make sure that you have a nice sharp tip going, especially for our nighttime look when we really want to get a nice sharp line. So I'm going to use this little small one. Just making sure that I've removed all of that excess pencil shavings from the tip of my pencil. 
So now I have a fairly sharp tip. Now, there were some comments in my previous video um, that my pencil was too dry. I don't know how to describe it, but it's it's not a dry pencil. It's kind of, I mean, obviously it's not liquidy, but um, it is soft and it's not dry and it doesn't pull on my eyes. So what I'm going to do is start with this eye. And I've got two mirrors here, so I'm trying to decide which mirror I want to use. Um, I'm going to start on this side. So I'm just going to pull the skin a little bit taut. Now it doesn't need to be pulled really tightly, but by just pulling it a little bit, it helps me to actually get a straight line on my lid without getting any little ridges on it. So I'm just going to gently pull and apply. Starting at the end and moving to the center. Really just focusing, getting this right along the edge. Now since it is my nighttime look, I'm going to apply it on a little bit thicker than I normally would. And I'm actually going to take it all the way to the crest of my eyelid. So where my inner eye meets my bottom lid. And then I do the same on the bottom. A little bit thicker line towards the edge. And then center towards the center, but going all the way in toward the center of my eye. I know that some people like to really focus on applying it to the actual inside lip of the eye. I personally don't find that that's necessary. After you apply mascara, you don't really need that. Um, but obviously that is something that a lot of people like to do. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. I really like this eyeliner. I've used both liquid liners and actual dry pencils before. And this one that's kind of a happy medium between the two is my absolute favorite. So now I have just a basic eyeliner on my face, my eyes to be exact. So now we're going to play a little bit with eye shadow. So because this is my nighttime look, I'm going to use this one. We have some purple, silver, gray type colors. And fortunately, I have some new brushes to use. So as a base, I'm also going to use these lighter colors. So this is the one that I used in my everyday um, makeup routine. It's a little bit more subtle. 
I'm going to have both of those open there for me to choose from. Okay. So, starting with this blush that gives me a nice, just like gentle, round tip, I'm going to use this pink a little bit of this kind of cream colored, shimmery cream colored thing and then I'm going to brush off any excess onto my finger, onto my hand here so this is just to help blend those colors and to make sure I don't have a lot of excess powder on my hand or on my brush when I applied it. So then I'm going to just start right here on the top of my brow. And then I'm going to continue with this color on the lid as well. So this is just like super subtle kind of pink shimmery. I've done on my lid and then on my actual brow line. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same for the other side. So I'm starting above my brow bone, but still a little bit underneath my actual eyebrow. And then on my lid. I'm going to a little sp sparkle on me. Cool. Okay, I always think it's a good idea to thoroughly clean your brush in between uses so that you're not blending colors unintentionally. Alright, so now I'm going to take this slightly smaller round brush. Still a pretty thick wand, and I'm going to take this darker brown. And again, I'm kind of blending it with that lighter pink, and then mixing it on the back of my hand. So this is kind of a purplish pink color I've got now and I'm just going to dust it right in the ridge between these other two colors that I just did but only on the outside of the eye not going all the way into the black. So I just want to gently apply this dark color into this ridge. And then again, the same on the other side. Okay, and then Dusting off any additional powder on to as well. This is just a paper towel here. You can use a little bit of water if you want to. You want to be careful though that you don't get it into your eyeshadow. 
because it will make it darker anywhere that you use that color. I think you can probably wash them with whipping alcohol occasionally if you wanted to do that. So now I'm going to take this smaller, pointier brush. This is the smallest brush that I have to get a little bit more definition in the crease of my eyes. So because I love purple, I'm going to go ahead and do this with purple. I'm not sure what I'll be wearing yet tonight, but hopefully this will match. So I'm taking some purple and some of this kind of dark gray, and again, using my hand as a little mixing board. So it's kind of a purple asphalt color, if I was going to have to name it. And then I'm just going to take this right into the crease of my eye. just want to apply that dark color and then blend it in with the color that I've already applied. And then I'm just going to take a little bit more of this little color blend for my other eye. dark line and then blending it around the edges with that other color. Okay. So now I want to go back to that original color that I was using to dust just underneath my eyebrow, which was this kind of creamy pink color. And again, coming underneath my eyebrow to smooth out any of the top of that darker color. So I don't have such an abrupt line. And again on the other side. So now again with my pointy brush, I want to make absolutely sure that I've removed all the darker color because now I'm about to come in with a very light color just for my eye lid. So removing a little bit there. And then I'm actually going to choose this very, very white color, kind of shimmery white. Again, using my hand to dust off any excess. Now I'm going to come in just on the lid of my eye.
hand on the other side. So hard to tell when you get it even or not. <laughs> okay, so then my last step is coming through. I think these may be the same color, but they look a little bit different. And this one seems to be a little less shimmery. So the less shimmery, I want to apply very thinly underneath my eyes. Really coming up underneath the bottom lid. same on the other side. Okay. It looks a little bit darker on the other side. Let me apply just a little bit more. It's so hard to get them even. <laughs> Okay, I think that is close enough. Okay. So, now I am ready for mascara. So before I apply mascara, I'm just going to use my paper towel to make sure that I've removed any color from my fingers. So that I can just lightly dust off my eyelashes, making sure I don't have any eyeshadow hanging out on my eyelashes. That's a really good way to get clumps. Nobody wants clumps in their mascara. So I'm not trying to pull out my eyelashes, but I am just gently kind of making sure that they don't have any eyeshadow hanging out on them. Now, with my mascara. And... And then it's easier. Hold it kind of at an angle rather than perfectly straight, which you're kind of pulling out and up. And leave it. 
Where's the line? professional makeup artist. I have gotten a lot of comments from you guys asking for me to talk about my makeup routine, so here you go. I do, however, have a professional makeup artist on our YouTube channel, so you can check her videos out if you like a more professional approach. This is just my basic routine here. But Natasha's videos are fantastic for anybody who would like a more professional explanation of how to apply makeup appropriately. So close to being done. So now I'm going to just groom my eyebrows a little bit. Now Natasha did a really good tutorial about eyebrows and how to groom them professionally, but this is a tool that I really like to keep around because it makes it really easy to make sure that your eyebrows aren't going all crazy. So I'm just going to use this to brush my eyebrows out. This can also be really useful when you're actually doing your eyebrows because you can, you know, what Natasha shows in her videos that you can kind of put them all going up and then that helps you to be able to pick out the hairs that need to get plucked or trimmed if you're going to go through that whole rigmarole. She shows you how to do that. Um, yeah, looking a little crazy on this one. Also, feels pretty nice. Combing your eyebrows. Okay. So, I actually don't wear any kind of makeup on my face, primarily out of laziness, because I find it really difficult to get it even on both sides <laughs> and to not get that line where the color of your face changes with the color of your neck. So again, you can check out Natasha's videos if you want to hear an explanation of applying makeup on the face and doing foundation and all that jazz. My Almost, almost last step today is just going to be a little bit of blush. As you can see, my blush here. And I'm just going to take this light color and this pink. Again, I'm dabbing it off on the back of my hand. And... right on the top of my cheekbone. And then on the other side. Yes. 
super subtle, but that's kind of how I like it. Maybe in another video, I can do stage makeup. We'll see how <laughs> this changes even a little bit more if I'm actually going to be on stage. So now I'm going to do my lips. So I already have a little bit of chapstick on, a little bit more. So I find the worst thing is trying to apply lipstick when your lips are really dry and then you get those little clumps and it's not very pleasant. So. I usually just apply it to my bottom and then put them together. Now, if I was using a dark, darker lip color, I might actually line my lips. But again, I kind of go the lazy route. I like to just do something simple, one step. And the last thing I want to do is use a little bit of my essential oils as a perfume. So I don't really wear regular perfume, anything uh, that has fragrance in it. Um, oftentimes these are chemicals I actually don't want to put on my skin and don't want entering my body, so I try to avoid anything with fragrance in it. But this is just a little bottle of eucalyptus. It's super nice. Now, you want to be careful with essential oils because some of them you actually do want to dilute before using them. And that's going to include this one. I'm just going to use my little vitamin E oil to dilute my eucalyptus. So I'm actually just going to take this in my palm. Just a couple little drops. And then another drop. I'm going to just apply it to the back of my neck. And because I love to smell the eucalyptus myself, I usually actually apply it to my chest too. So that I can also enjoy the scent. Well, thank you so much for watching. That's pretty much it for me. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you can see all of our future videos. I hope you will leave us some comments and let us know what you think. If you have any suggestions or if you have requests for videos that you'd like to see. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Mm -hmm.